Hi Leo and welcome to your weekly love tarot forecast. This is for the week of November 5th through November 11th, 2018. So Leo, let's see what the overall energy is for you guys in regards to love and romance for this week. Right, so you guys have the Wisdom card, the Waning Gibbous Moon, number six. So this is the final phase um, of the Waning Gibbous Moon right before we hit the last quarter moon. So Leo, this week is going to bring you a lot of clarity, a lot of wisdom, a lot of understanding, um, consciousness expansion, spiritual growth from what you've been going through in your relationships just uh, it could be the relationship you are currently in right now or it could be a multitude of relationships of your past leading up to this moment because as I've said in past videos between now and the end of the year we're really working on cleaning up our energy and emotional baggage of relationships all relationships not just romantic but family and friends hurts and insecurities around relationships and connection it's a wonderful time of healing and release for Leo you guys are gaining a lot of insight or finally understanding why somebody did what they did why something had to work out the way that it did or maybe even finally finding some forgiveness for yourself for different choices that you've made in the past in other relationships so it's actually a very decent energy, Leo. It's uh, wise, empowering, expanding type of energy. And this could also be where if you and your partner have really been butting heads, not seeing eye to eye, this week brings about an understanding, a truce, a compromise, some sort of negotiation. Okay, so on this side, we have a free yourself, and we have unrequited love. Whoa, Leo. And this is almost about to fall. Look at that, Leo, what is up? Okay, so... There are some Leos out there that are coming into the understanding that maybe um, who we're dating or who we're committed to, we're not compatible um, in very important ways because with free yourself and unrequited love, I'm getting a, like a lot of different things about this. Um, some of you, it could be where you have really been putting all of your heart, your soul, your energy into somebody you're dating or even somebody you're committed to and it's like they're a black hole. Leo, it, they don't um, reciprocate, they're, they don't support you, they're not there and coming through as unrequited love, it can mean that they don't, you know, share the same level of emotion for you as you do for them or it could just be that they're not as interested in participating in the relationship they're more interested in the receiving of what comes with the relationship rather than giving to um, or working on the relationship or being there for you or supporting you okay so this energy could play out in a few different ways so if you've been pursuing somebody who's flaky wishy-washy Leo, this might be the week where you really come into the understanding that it's just never going to work out. It's just never going to be. It's a waste of your time, okay? Or this could be flipped where somebody's been really pursuing you kind of endlessly and they're finally getting the hint this week that you are not interested and they're going to fade away, okay? Um, those of you in committed relationships this could be where we're really coming to the understanding that maybe we're not compatible or we want different things or the emotion has changed or is different in one or both of you something along those lines okay so let's add 
more to this because I'm kind of almost getting that it, there could be something else happening here as well, but it's just like I can't, well, bring to fruition. Yeah, you guys are going to really come into understanding what's been hidden is like coming to light. Um, we're speaking our truth. We're being real to ourselves this week. And even if like somebody's feelings have to get hurt, it's like I, you are wanting that. You if it's your feelings, you're like, I'll take the hurt feelings as long as I know the truth or as long as I can speak the truth. And I don't want to hurt anybody, but I would rather say the truth if it hurts them than, you know, live any sort of lie from this point forward. Um, so let's see, Leo. Yeah, believe in your dreams. It's just like if you've kind of been putting yourself in the back seat, Leo, it's like no more. And you can't help it. This just feels very natural to you. So happiness is at hand. Look at this. It's to achieve happiness, we've got to free ourselves from some relationship or some idea of a relationship with somebody either that we've been pursuing or maybe even somebody from our past where it's like they're not on board the same way you are. And happiness comes from really detaching from this and recognizing it for what it is. Over here, we have harvest and sow. So like I said, for some Leos, you definitely have somebody who's very flaky, you know, in and out, back and forth. And it's all about what they can get out of this. Um, very superficial, very materialistic type of energy or personality. And it doesn't have to mean that they're a bad person, you know, that they don't, they're not caring, they're not loving, those type of things, but it's more for them, this is like, what is, what do I get out of this, what is in this for me, and that's just their, the way their mind works, and it, it, you might take great offense to that, like, you're using me, you're taking advantage of me, but over here, in their mind, it just, they operate quite differently, and it's about the bottom line for them, as foreign as that is for you in regards to love, that's how it is for them. And that might be a big incompatibility between the two of you. And, you know, if you're hanging on to this relationship or really trying to make it work, you're coming into the realization this week that it just never will. Like, you will never find your happiness with this person, even if you love them, even if they're who you want, even if you feel the soul connection, they make your heart pitter-patter. You're like, no, who you are, fundamentally, your personality, your core, does not resonate with me. It does not fulfill me. It does not make me happy. And if I feel this way, then clearly you could not be happy with me either, right? So, Leo, it's like a, a deep realization of where your happiness truly lies. And, um, you know, this could be a bickering and a fighting um, where you're saying, look, I don't feel like you're on board with me. You don't love me, this, that, and the other. And they could take great offense to that. Or this could be a conversation where we're discussing how we are not compatible and both of us are agreeing upon that even if it hurts, even if, you know, we're sad, etc. So, Leo, honestly, the strongest message so far is you've got to free yourself from whatever you're holding on to or whatever's holding you back for your true happiness. And I will say this, that message has been an ongoing theme in your love and your moon readings. So when the same message keeps coming through for the same sign, reading after reading after reading, that to me is like, hello, like flag, Leo, you deserve happiness, you know, and even if things seem impossible or you're like, I just don't know how, how I would ever get over this person or I just don't know how I could ever get out of this relationship, you know, whatever it is for you, you can't look at it that way. You've got to tune into your soul and you're going to gain that wisdom, that insight this week of what you really need to do to be happy and it's letting go of something, um, whether a relationship, whether a pattern of behavior, 
in regards to your romantic relationships. Um, maybe an idea and hope of getting back with somebody. Maybe the current uh, person you are committed to or just dating is not the one for you. And you've been realizing that, but you've been really trying to make it work for whatever reason. So let's see, Leo, let's add more. And I'll tell you what, all the readings this week for every sign have kind of had the same type of energy where we're waking up, we're coming into these deeper realizations and taking responsibility and accountability every sign so even if you and somebody else have never seen eye to eye and you're always fighting you're always fighting something about the astrology is like okay you know what we don't get along we don't agree but it's like we can see eye to eye on this and come up with a positive solution instead of like negativity and anger and let's destroy each other it's not like that it's I acceptance of what is and just so natural as well. Yeah, my goodness. Leo, I'm sorry. Look at this. Eight of Cups. We gotta walk away. We've gotta leave something, Leo. And only you know what that means for you personally in regards to love and romance. You know what is rejecting you. You know what hurts you. You know what doesn't give back to you. You know what ignores you. You know which you need to let go of. And if it's a like a pattern of behavior where you're very insecure, um, you get very jealous, or you just have these weird issues like feeling like somebody's going to abandon you or the other shoe's always going to drop, we've got to free ourselves from that somehow, some way, because that's where the happiness comes. And look at this. We have the Knight of Pentacles, so could involve a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Next, we have the Devil card. Could involve a Capricorn. Um, next, we have the Fool. And lastly, we have the Four of Swords. So, Leo, listen. Um, also, with this inner relationship, if you and your partner just keep going round and round and round and round and round about a same idea, uh, same fight, same argument, something that happened in the past... In order for you guys to find true happiness, we have got to overcome whatever that is and leave it in the past because it's like we're too tired now. We're too worn out. We can't fight anymore. We can't argue anymore. We can't cry anymore. It's like there's nothing left to give, to feel, to do, to be. So, Leo, if what needs to be let go of is emotional baggage for a relationship to truly survive and, you know, move forward into a better pasture, we've got to let go of those hurts and that emotional baggage for sure. Um, others of you... This is all about where we've got to separate a relationship. Um, it's just, it's intense, you know, and there's nothing left here. It's all dried up and freeing yourself, letting go is like you, the best is yet to come. You know, you're, where you're headed is better than where you've been. So if it's truly like, I've got to stop dating this person or I can no longer be committed to this person or I need to just forget about trying to reconcile with an ex, you know, whatever it is for you, Leo, you will be so much happier up ahead, okay? You really will be. So be honest with yourself about what needs to be released and let go of. And if it's emotional baggage and heartache, within your current relationship, do it before you guys completely exhaust this connection, you know, if it really means something to you, but if it's outlived its expiration date and you know that in your soul, which this week it looks like you will, if that's the case, then you know what you've got to do and it's almost like out of your control at this point because there's nothing left to give, you know. So let's get an outcome card here. We have fear. So with this being our outcome, whatever we're holding on to, it's out of fear, Leo. If you've been telling yourself it's out of love, it's out of soul connection, it's out of, you know, familiarity, it's out of my destiny, like whatever it is, um, 
that keeps you holding on here to your thing, it's fear that is keeping you there. There, it, It's not um, anything else but that. Fear-based emotions, fear-based energy. And the more you recognize that and you kind of just separate yourself emotionally and mentally from your situation and, you know, really tap into your spirit, feel the vibes of your environment, of your situation, of your connection, of your partner, of yourself. Really feel those vibes. Keep the mind quiet. Don't overanalyze. Stay out of your head and the wisdom will come to you and you'll be able to overcome the fear or the blockage that holds you back, that keeps you hanging on, whatever it is for you. Because I promise, once you let go, that is when happiness comes in. Even if in your head you're thinking, well, letting go is like my doom, is the ultimate end. That's fear talking. Letting go is leading you to a place better than where you've been for whatever that means for you personally, Leo. Okay? So those are your messages in regards to love and romance for this week, Leo. I'm wishing you all the best. Take care.